Hey guys, welcome back to the our course. In this video, we are going to talk about how to add icons to the bottom tab navigation. And when we click on any icon, so the color, the change, the color of the icon will get changed. So we will also see that how we can add a custom color, like you know how we can change the color of from blue to a different color. Okay. And another thing is that which we gonna do, we gonna you know add a linear gradient background to here. Okay. And we gonna remove the header as well. Okay, so these things are uh, we gonna do in this video. And the last video we have uh, seen that you know setup of React Native Vectors icon, setup of React Navigation Native, and the bottom tab navigation. Okay, so currently let's uh, first of all let's do the uh, setup. Uh, let's add the icons to the bottom tab navigation as expected in the Figma. So you can see that we have uh, this home icon, three uh, line icon, cart icon, and the account icon. So let's add it quickly. So if I show you the code. So you can see that in our root app component, we have a navigation container, and inside that, we are having a like you know tab dot screen as a home, the order cart account, and other stuff. Okay. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, uh, as you can see that we are a home uh, home screen, and we can see this home header, and if we click on reorder, we can see this reorder is uh, header as well. So I don't want this header header as well. So to remove this header, what we have to do inside the tab dot navigator, we have to write screen options, okay? And inside this, we have uh, some property uh, name is a header zone, okay? So that's a property called header zone. Uh, sorry, basically uh, header zone, and let's make it false. So if I make it false, this property, so you will not able to see the header so you can see that the header gets removed from the uh from the uh, screen okay now the next thing is that which we're gonna do we gonna we have to change this okay uh icon so let's change the icon as well to change to add the icon what we have to do we have to write uh tab options my bad we have to write options and inside this options there's one property which you have to pass tab bar icon okay and it will took a component whatever the component you can want to pass you can pass it so you can pass it right di like direct like this and you can have a like currently let me show you quickly so let's suppose i don't want to pass any icon i just want to pass a, a text as well so we can pass the text as well so icon let's suppose i just doing like this so you can see that we are able to see a icon okay so basically we have to just uh, return a component and that's gonna render the hair okay so let's add a one icon name is a home so to add a home icon so first of all what we have to do we have to type react native vector icons directory okay now when we hit that we will get to the, this page okay now this will open that page and the first icon which i want name is a home okay and i'm going to use this in typo icon in typo home okay to use this what we have to do so you can see that in the last video we have seen that uh, in the home screen we have to copy this like this basically like to copy this so basically to use that we have to type like you know type m okay let me type it quickly here so what we have to do we have to write import the whatever icon uh, you are using icon source and we have to type react native native vector icons okay and slash we have we are using the uh, in typo right so we have to type in typo as well okay now after that what we have to do uh, let's suppose i want to use here so we can have like this in typo okay and the next thing is that we have to do name we have to pass the name whatever the icon we are using uh, so let's pass the name as well okay so let me pass the name quickly so the name is uh, uh, home so let's pass the name and let's see what we are able to get on the UI so you can see that we are getting a, a small home uh, icon okay so let's change the uh, uh, you know the size as well so how we can get the size of this so if we uh, add up uh, you know curly braces and if we just type uh, space control plus space so we'll see that we have a size property we have another property called focus and another property called color okay so we have to just pass the size whatever the size we are getting so by default we will get the size as a 
25 so we are passing that size as well so you can see that the size get increased as a 25 okay and the color what the color will be so the, whatever the color we have we have to just do we have to just you know uh, pass that color as well okay okay now after that uh, we don't want to show this uh, you know this uh, uh, basically label so how we can if, if you see this figma if you see this figma clearly so we are not showing this any label in the bottom so let's see the let's uh, see how we can uh, remove the label as well so we have property called tab bar zone label okay and we have to make it false so if i make it false okay so you can see that that uh, label get removed okay now let's add a icon as well on this reorder a second icon as well second options so we have to type options and inside this we have called property called tab bar uh, tab bar icon okay and this is gonna be like this we are getting uh, okay let me do like this quickly and we have to pass the icon name okay so let's do quickly so i'm going to again just copy this code okay and just returning this code okay and let's destructure the size from here size and the color as well okay so if you see the second icon is also looking like home uh, but the second icon should be a uh, three line so for that the icon which i'm going to use called reorder okay from the material icon so you can see that we have a midi order icon from different different but i'm going to use this material icons okay to use that what we have to do uh, at the place of n typo okay if you see there is called n typo right on the line number five okay so what we have to do we have to use for the uh what we say for the material icons as well so we have to just type material icons uh, the name and the and the uh, last name as well now after that uh, at the place of n typo we have to replace with the material icons and at the place of home we have to write the name the name will be reorder okay now you can see that we get the reorder icon okay again let's uh, add this for the cart icon as well so we have to just copy this options object okay and just paste it here so you can see that we have pasted that and we are still getting the material icons reorder but the third icon is for uh, is called cart icon so to get the cart icon what we have to type just type cart okay and we are going to use uh, for the cart material community icons as well so if we just scroll down scroll down yeah this material community icons okay and the icon name is icon so let's add this well as well so so what we have to do we have to again just you know drag and drop and at the place of material icons we have to replace with the material community icons and here also at the place of material icons we have to use material community icons okay and at the last oh, at the card place we have to type material icons material community icons and at the place of reorder oh, we have to type cart and now you can see that we get the cart icon as well now there is one more icon which we need uh, that is called this uh, account icon okay to get that what we have to do uh, we have to type user uh, okay so let's type the user as well and that icon which we're gonna use from the font awesome 6 so font awesome 5 so I'm going to use font awesome 6 and the name is user so you can see that on the font awesome 6 we have a one icon name as a user let me check quickly why i'm not able to yeah so this is the icon which i'm going to use font autumn 6 to use this again we have to do again this copy paste at the place of material community icons we have to use font autumn awesome 6 and here also we have to use font awesome 6 okay now let's just scroll down and and here let's add right type the code quickly we have to write options okay and inside this we have to write is uh, inside this we have to write tab bar icon my bad oh, tab bar icon okay and it's gonna took a one component okay and it's gonna be returning a one component as well okay we have to return a 
uh, any comp anything like any uh, component so we are going to return that okay and after that uh, we we will get this you know size color okay and now we are using uh, the icon name is a uh, font awesome 6 and the name is user okay now you can see that we get the all the icons you know so if you check it out uh, this is looking perfect like as expected as as it looking okay uh, so we are using font awesome 6 and the user icon okay awesome awesome so we had created this uh, font awesome 6 user uh, so we have a home screen we have a three dot screen we have a card screen and we have added all the uh, icons as expected so let me quickly show you guys what we had done so basically first of all we remove the header so in false property we don't want to show the header on the top that's why we had passed one property name as a header shown as a false and we also not showing this tab bar label so we have a property called tab bar so a uh, soul label and we make the as a property as a false after that to add an icon on the bottom tab inside options we have a property name as a tab bar icon which take a component okay so we are having a like we are using different icon like we are using untypo icon and to use that icon any so we have to pass the name we have to pass the size so we are getting a by default size for this bottom tab navigation so size by default size is 25 we are passing the size and we are also passing the color okay but you can see that when we're clicking on any icon the color become blue you know so we let's change the color as well so the app part tint color okay and we can have a red color as well so whatever we pass that color it will become that color okay now we don't want to pass a red color uh if we don't want to pass red color so you can check it out so this is the color like which i'm gonna use it so let's replace with that color i think that is ready okay so after that uh, you can see that we have also import some different icons like import n typo icon react native vectors icon slash n typo whatever so sources we icon you're using you have to just type slash after slash and you can thoroughly use it okay so yeah basically this is how we add a icon to the bottom tab navigation okay so we have uh, we had uh, seen that how to add icons to the bottom tab navigator we had also seen the changing the color of icon on click as you can see that we had added a property uh, which when we whenever we click on any tab it will change the color of that icon okay now the next task is that add linear gradient background to the home screen okay so how we can add a linear gradient background in the home screen so as you can see that we have a home screen okay and we have to use a linear gradient background okay so to use that we have to install one package name as a linear uh, name as a react native linear gradient so i have to just do it uh, search npm npm react native linear uh, gradient okay as you can see that we are getting a suggestion react native linear gradient just open that okay and after that you have to open this npm page you have to copy this command okay as you can see that we are like you know this type of background which we can build it up so i just copy this command okay i have to you know just stop the server stop the emulator i have to just paste this command and hit this so it will install the react native linear gradient okay so it is installed now let me again uh, start my emulator okay so let's wait for some seconds so yeah so it will install the again it will bundle our app now what we're gonna learn like we're gonna see that how we can add a linear gradient background okay so there is one example they have added like you know a linear dot gradient background example so i'm just copy this code okay and at the place of this you know home screen i'm going to replace with this okay and let's import the linear gradient from the react native linear gradient okay now uh at the place of linear gradient uh, we are gonna do a container name is a container okay now uh, if I make the container for now container flex 1 basically what does flex 2 flex 1 whenever we type flex 1 
it will took the whole screen width. Now you can see that we had created a linear gradient background. Okay, so you can see that this is had a different color and this in the bottom has a different color. Okay, now what what color which we want? We want the color the background color should look like like this. Uh, you know light pink and it's become in the bottom a uh, light white color so use that what we have to do you have to click on this iPhone 11 Pro Max and you have to just click on this you will get this you have to click on this first color so we'll get this first color okay and we, when you click on second color you will get this second color okay now I'm gonna remove this whole color I don't want this blue color okay and I have to just replace with the first color and we have to use right hash before any color okay and the second color is also we have to write uh, which is this one FC okay and if I reload this so we can't see any changes right now so I just reload this and you can see that how awesome a uh, linear gradient background right now we can see awesome so yeah so we have seen uh, basically to implement this what we have to do we have to just install the react native linear gradient package and after that we can use it linear gradient and uh, we are like you know just like a view so we have can inside the container we are passing as a flex one okay and we are good to go so yeah we have also seen this how to add a linear gradient background in the next session what we're gonna do we're gonna see like how to build this reusable header component and this matcher style text search in food and this uh, you know, draggable uh, draggable category okay so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you uh, bye and if you guys have any question so what you have to do if you guys have any question so you can see that uh, we have a one whatsapp group uh, this is the our whatsapp group zero degree folder so you can message me your doubt regarding this project if you're getting any bug any things if you need any guidance regarding the uh, regarding the react native so yeah please let me know uh, and also like you know please support me for this uh, course and if you like this uh, course please uh, like and just have a one comment on the below of this video that's all guys thank you bye